Hi, today let us discuss something related to a very important pathological example, a plant disease by name Bunchy Top Disease of Banana. Banana that is Musa paradisiaca, a very important plant belonging to the family Musaceae. You know it is a very important plantation crop and it is widely cultivated all over the world for its fruits and other products. In 1889, a disease called Bunchy Top disease has been reported in banana. And in 1920, in Australia, this particular viral disease has created a havoc and it has devastated the entire banana plantations in Australia. Hence, it is a most important viral disease that is bunchy top disease of banana. Banana particularly the Cavendish variety is vulnerable and most susceptible for this particular disease and uh, the pathogen that is responsible for the bunchy top disease is BBTV. BBTV means banana bunchy top virus and the nomenclature, the naming of the virus is based on the symptoms what the plant exhibits when it is infected by the viral particle. In fact, this particular virus is a SS DNA virus that is single stranded DNA virus. Now let us look into the major symptoms of the disease. The banana plants which are affected by this particular virus shows a stunted pseudo stem. You know in banana normally the stem is underground whereas whatever we see the culm like structure it is the pseudo stem and we can see the deformation in the stem. The stem is almost stunted and the most important symptoms are found usually in foliages. The foliages, the leaves become very short stunted, deformed and because of a very important effect called Morse code streaking, because of a very important symptom called Morse code streaking, we can also see lot of yellow spots on the leaves. Normally this uh, uh, single uh, stranded DNA virus, it infects the phloem cells of the banana. And when it affects the phloem cells, automatically the multiplication of the virus causes the typical yellow spots on the leaves. Hence, the major symptoms are found on the leaves. The leaves also become yellow. We can also see elongated yellow streaks. And the very important symptom is bunchy top. Bunchy top means particularly the older leaves. They become brittle, stunted and form almost a rosette like structure at the tip. And that is the typical and uh, very important symptom of the disease. Now this particular disease is uh, transmitted from one infected plant to the neighboring healthy plant with the help of a vector and the vector is Pentalonia nigro nervosa. It is an effet and it is a very dangerous insect for that matter. And normally this effet, it sucks the fluid, it sucks the juice of the infected banana plant and later when it attacks the healthy plants, automatically it transfers the viral particles to the healthy plants. So after the infection, we can see the symptoms even on the healthy plants also. Hence this particular disease that is bunchy top of banana causes very important damage to the banana plantation. Now how to control this particular disease? 
it is very difficult to control the viral diseases because all of us know that viruses cannot be destroyed so easily. Every virus particle has a longevity. It may have a limited longevity or prolonged longevity. However, the viral particle has to complete the life cycle on its own and it has to die and it has to degenerate on its own. And they are uh, so significant and they are so powerful that even the most powerful antibiotic, it cannot destroy a viral particle. Hence, viruses, since they cannot be destroyed by any chemical, pesticide or so-called uh, organic substances, the only thing that we can do is taking the phytosanitary measures. As far as possible, the phytosanitary measures will help in management of the disease, particularly application of wide variety of uh, uh, pesticides, particularly to get rid of the Pentalonia nigro nervosa, the effect, the pesticides can be sprayed. The more we spray the pesticides, we can control the effects so that the transmission of the disease can be effectively controlled. That is point number one. And another thing is exclusion of the diseased plants. The diseased infected plants can be removed. It can be burned into ashes and some phytosanitary measures can be taken. And for your kind information, so far no one can, uh, no one has uh, bred some uh, dis uh, disease resistant varieties uh, as far as uh, this particular disease is concerned. So we have no disease resistant varieties in banana. That's why these three are the very important things that we have to keep in mind when we tackle the bunch of disease of uh, banana. Since banana is a very important plantation crop, economically very significant, it is high time to see that we protect the banana plantation from the viral attack. So that is a very important message from my part.